Hi Aries, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to be asking the cards, what's going on with you in love for the week of July 26th to August 1st, 2021. July 26th to August 1st, 2021. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at your energy first, Aries, and then we're going to look at the energy of whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, so let's just go ahead and get started. And as always, if you end up resonating with the message that I say in your reading, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's look at your energy spirit. Please show me the energy of Aries, please, in regards to love for this coming week, July 26th to August 1st, 2021. Okay, first card, the Magician in Reverse, the Seven of Cups in Reverse, and the Temperance card, Upright. So Aries, I get the feeling that you're waiting for someone here. There's someone who, there's someone here who you're interested in with the Seven of Cups in Reverse. There's someone who has, you know, in a way, they've stolen your heart. Um, you can't stop thinking about them. You feel a very strong attraction to them, a strong emotional connection to them. Um, you might have other options in love as well, but I feel like you're only focused on one person. Like there's one person that really stands out um, amongst the other options. And... Um, with the temperance card, you're waiting for this person. Um, you're deciding not to take action with the magician in reverse. Um, you don't want to chase this person. Maybe you don't want to seem desperate also, you know. You don't want to seem desperate. You don't want to chase them. Um, you want to wait for them to come to you. Okay, yeah, that's the general energy I'm seeing here. So let me just clarify a little bit. I'm going to use this deck here. And let's clarify the Magician in Reverse. Spirit, tell me more about the Magician in Reverse, please. And we have the Page of Rods. So you're waiting for communication. You're waiting for this person to reach out. King of Pentacles upright. So you want commitment. You want someone to offer you commitment and stability here. But again, you, you're holding back from taking any action because you feel like um, it's the other person who should come to you. So you're waiting for the other person to... Yeah, to take action. All right, let's clarify Seven of Cups. We have the Sun in reverse. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So you feel like this person is being really slow, like they're taking a long time. And the sun means that you have really, you feel passionate about this person. Um, this is the one that stands out. The sun always is an energy um, that that draws attention from from everyone. So it's like you're you're putting all your attention towards this person, um, but you feel like they're moving very slow. 
Clarify Temperance. And we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Magician Upright. Yeah, you want to put in the work, you want to put in the effort. Um, and I think you're wondering if they want to put in the work and the effort too. Because um, again, you might feel like they're being a little too slow. You might be starting to doubt whether um, they're interested, whether they're interested or not, and whether, you know, is this a waste of time or not? You, you might be wondering, is this a waste of time or not? But you're just waiting here to see what happens. Yeah, you're waiting to see if this person um, steps up to the plate and... Um, yeah, approaches you and messages you and um, proved, proves themselves to be an adult, a mature adult. Cause be, because that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a mature adult. Okay. Let's look at the energy of the person you're connecting to here. Spirit, please show me the energy of the person Aries is dealing with in love here, please. Thank you. This is again July 26th to August 1st, 2021. And we have the King of Swords. You might be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. We have the Moon card in reverse. Might be a Cancer or a Pisces. And we have the Ace of Swords. Okay. I feel like this person is going to reveal some kind of truth to you, Aries, here. With the moon in reverse, this does represent um, revealing secrets. Because when it's in the upright, it represents keeping secrets. Um, yeah, being secretive. But when it's in rever ver the reverse, it's the revelation of hidden things, hidden secrets. And the Ace of Swords is, is a card of communication a new conversation new communication that so this person is telling you something that they haven't told you before they're very serious here they are very mature here at least from what i can tell on the outside right but let's look a little bit deeper here and see if we can get more clarity Spirit, please clarify the King of Swords. And we have the Queen of Wands. And the Seven of Cups. Okay. So there's another woman, right? So this is a woman, but it can be a man. There's another person in this person's life, whoever you're dealing with. You're not their only option, and you're not the only option that they are entertaining. All right. So that's pretty blunt and concise there. Let's move on to the moon in reverse. Very clarify the moon in reverse, please. Okay. 
you also have the seven of cups here you have the seven of cups in reverse which means that you also have other options or you could have other options but you're only focusing on them um however on their side they have the seven of cups upright so they have other options as well but they are um actually exploring them exploring those options and looking at all those options while you're only folk while you you are only focused on them all right clarify the moon we have here the star and the three of cups there is a third party situation with the three of cups and the star there is a wish that this person is making so this person is wishing for yeah i'm not sure what they're wishing for it it almost looks like they're wishing to keep both of you i think they're wishing to keep you and the third party but let's clarify this ace of swords Actually, let me get one more card there. Give me one more card, Spirit, please. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. They're indecisive. They're indecisive. They don't know who they want to choose. You or the third party. And I think it's their wish to keep both of you. All right, let's clarify the Ace of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse, which means that they still haven't ended things with someone. There's still an open cycle here, an open relationship. And the Eight of Swords in reverse. They still haven't released themselves from a particular person. They're still attached, they're, they're still connected, they're still stuck to someone else. And basically, they're not available here to have a commitment with anyone right now because they're dealing with a third-party situation. And they can't make up their mind um, who they want to be with and who they want to let go. All right. So that's what I see there, Aries. That was your reading. Let me know if this resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate that, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, Aries. Take care.